<laughs> what 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 lucha question did you have, Chris? Uh, it was more of a general thing. I was uh, I've been talking to him, and I there's a source that I kind of learned a lot from called Lucha Wiki, which has kind of fallen out. Um, I don't think it's updated as commonly anymore. But one right. of the things that I was wondering was. Uh, which was, what do you think about all the legacy of Eddie Guerrero and all of that stuff, but how people generally don't know anything about art bar or the love machine. Cause I generally, if you look back at it, I felt like art would have probably ended up getting more steam behind him coming to America than Eddie would have. Yeah. I, I would, I wouldn't disagree with that because art was a, a great wrestler, but he was very, very charismatic, which Eddie which is hard to believe if you saw him in WWE had zero charisma. Wow. You know? So I am like, blown away by that. Yes. He yeah. was just a workhorse, bro. He was just a fucking workhorse. And then like when it was, when we got together and the gringo locals went from two to three, then you had two guys that had like a lot of charisma, but one could really work, which was love machine. And Eddie was like the super worker. Yeah. But when Paulie, uh, Paulie was going to bring Eddie and art into ECW and, Art died probably like a month before. So yeah, he was story, probably a month away from people realizing yeah, how great right. that guy really, really was. Yeah, the story that I had always heard was that the trip to ECW was essentially Art's idea, that he was pushing for that, and that he kind of pushed Eddie into going and trying to get over more in the States than in being in Mexico. That sounds like Art. Yeah, Art was always, get to the U.S., get to the U.S., and Eddie was like, I'm too small, I'm too small. Yeah. Now, Eddie assisted with us at OVW quite a few times. He'd come down to help out on shows, especially Six Flags. He'd come down to help train. Now, I want to tell you, and I, I didn't know him before OVW, but I never met a nicer guy. Didn't ask for any favors. Didn't ask to be put over. He'd sit and, and get dressed with everybody else. Not all the guys did that. Uh, but Eddie was absolutely a class act. And, and I see why he was so loved, because he was a good man. Yeah, super special guy. But yeah, I'm, I would agree with you. I think Love Machine would have gotten over way before Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, wow. uh, looking back and watching it, and just the, the way that they could draw heat from the Mexican crowd, which granted was easier in the early 90s than it would be now, I guess, but just the backstrokes across the ring and the Gringos Locos thing was such a hot act back then. And I don't even know if my father's ever seen any of that. I, I don't imagine. Oh, bro, those, 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 don't you know what those fans look like? Like the old fans we grew up on. You know what yeah. what, what Glenn grew up up in Atlanta and you guys in Kentucky and me yeah. down in Miami Beach. Like those real wild fanat that really got yeah. in. That yeah. You just don't see it anymore. You know, no, people you know. are laughing. People, I, yeah. Go ahead. I got a question. Sure. Can you, can you still do the politically incorrect uh, type of heat in Mexico? Oh, yeah. Or do people got to watch? Yes. Oh, so that's oh, still the, that, that stuff has not changed then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I could go in there and start doing swimming stuff and everything, uh, and, all that, and the Mexican oh, crowd would just say that's throw, the, and, the biggest insult is throw tortillas into the crowd. And I only oh, have a couple guys. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't Jared, Jared, you know who was doing that? Jared. <laughs> Jared. I gave that to Jared, and he was doing it, and people wanted to kill him. 